Okay, so. I've been uh, doing breath work this whole way. And, uh, breath work and meditation, they're the same thing. Quite near San Francisco, actually. Maybe about an hour. Okay, so I need to tell my sob story, and I will explain why I'm telling my sob story at some point in this talk. So here's my sob story. Some of you know it, some of you don't. But anyway. My sob story is that, number one, I do Uber and Lyft for work, okay? That's the, a big component of it. And the reason that's a part of the sob story is because it's not my correct work that I'm supposed to be doing here. It's, it's, um. I don't know what it is, but it's not, it's not it. Okay, that's, that's the first part. The second part is that I live in Fresno. Well, I don't really live anywhere, but... I live in Fresno when I'm, uh, not working. Okay, so I drive weekly to San Francisco. I sleep in the car. Some of you knew that, some of you probably don't. I don't absolutely have to sleep in the car. Um, it's part choice and part financial based. So it's expensive in San Francisco and I could find an Airbnb every night for 35 to $40, but I choose not to do that. So I sleep in the car and I wash up in public showers or public restrooms or whatever. And uh, I also spend a few nights a week at Robbie and Eden's house. One or two, depending on what's going on. Um, oh, and in addition to... That's the, the bulk of the sob story. But in addition to that, I'm away from Jackson uh, most of the week, and I see him nearly a full day, one day a week, um, one or two days a week. But I don't like being away from him that long. And in addition, uh, to complete the sob story, I don't have my own place, and I haven't had my own place since I broke up with Kimberly, or since we got divorced, rather, and uh, so my sleeping habits consist of either sleeping in the car, or sleeping at Robbie and Eden's on the couch, or sleeping at my dad's on the couch. So I'm essentially a nomad. Okay. So that's... That's the sob story, okay? And the problem... The problem with this sob story... <coughs> excuse me. The problem with this sob story... The problem with this sob story is that I forget to be unhappy about it. And that's why it's not changing, because I have taught myself a lot of self-discipline, and I've taught myself how to meditate every single second of the day that I'm doing this, because if I dwelled on it too long, then I would probably get really pissed off and um, figure out something else. But because I... 
got really good at being pretty even keel no matter what's happening. So whether I'm doing something boring like transporting passengers or whether I'm making a video for all of you guys, which I enjoy much more than transporting passengers, um, or whatever it is that I'm doing, or eating, or having a beer, or watching something, whatever, hanging out with the baby, any of these things. I have uh, learned meditation, and I've learned meditation in all parts of the life. Now, I don't always practice it. Um, if I'm making an effort, such as I was doing on the way to starting this video, and I'm still doing it right now, which is simply staying present as much as possible. I learned meditation, and like I said, the problem with that, it's good because I can be calm and centered at all times if I remember to do my paying attention of the moment, um, but the downside is that this pattern that I'm in of doing Lyft and Uber for money for no other reason, because I'm not getting a benefit out of it, and I've uh, complained to you guys about this before, but this uh, is a more constructive complaint slash sob story, um, and it's not really a sob story or a complaint, it's actually something else, but I'm uh, speaking it out so I can remember, because I forget and we all forget, we forget that we're not supposed to be running on train tracks and that we're supposed to be living creative lives and doing things that we enjoy and doing things that help the, the realm or the world and not doing things that don't serve us and that don't serve other people. And this here that I'm doing is not serving me and it's not serving other people, really. Because I don't serve other people in that fashion, I serve other people by sharing with them what goes on with me. And I help people work through their things, and uh, that's what it is. Now, that's the general story. And that's the story that's been repeating itself for the last couple years. Yes, I've been doing this for a couple years this whole living like a nomad, or you could call it a vagabond, or you could call it a... You couldn't even properly call it wanderlust because I'm not wandering, I'm wandering in circles. And if you're wandering in circles, you're not wandering. Right? So, the thing is, is for the longest time in my life, I had no clue what it was that I really felt passionate about or what it was that I should be doing with my life as far as a career uh, or as far as my life work. Okay, I didn't ever have that before. And I certainly didn't get it in school in any way, shape, or form. If anything, that was a, a dimming of that spark. So the difference now and the reason I'm reiterating all of this so um, I won't forget in five minutes and keep doing the same pattern forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So I'm doing this to remember as well. But the thing is, is now I do know what I should be doing and what I enjoy doing and um, what's correct for me. So... You might ask, well, why aren't you doing it? And that's a good question. And uh, it doesn't really have a good answer why I'm not doing it. 
and to say that I'm not doing it is actually incorrect because I've been doing it and I've been doing it with my channel this whole entire time and I've been doing it um, in various ways but I haven't been putting enough concerted effort into manifesting this reality which I know is correct so I've been sort of lazy at the same time as being forgetful at the same time as being um, just used to being calm with everything that's going on even if it's uh, tiresome or burdensome or uh, not correct for me or for the people who um, I, I'm supposed to be working with um, I'm not serving myself or the, the people correctly by spending the majority of my time sitting on my butt transporting randoms that I don't have any relationship with. So that's uh, that's the that's the story that's incorrect that needs to change. As far as what I'm supposed to be doing. What I'm supposed to be doing is what I am doing on the channel, and it's what I'm doing with Reiki, and it's what I'm doing with holotropic breathwork, and it's what I'm doing with meditation, and it's what I'm probably going to be adding um, massage therapy. I will probably be adding hypnotherapy. Um, possibly... I forget what that one was called, but the regressive, the regressive hypnotherapy. It's called like quantum, quantum regression or something. Allison Cope. And I know some of, some of you may have uh, some some ideas on what should and shouldn't be done uh, in the spiritual world, but I generally uh, stay away from. Uh, I stay away from stuff that is involving dogma or being very heavy on dogma or being heavy on repetition or anything like that. So I kind of stay away from those things. But I know this is the arena that I'm supposed to be working in. And I also know that there's not really, there's not really any reason uh, for me not to be doing this and uh, I, I, in the past, have told myself numerous times that money is the reason. Um, but I know it's, it's, not, it's not correct. So. So this is my uh, proclamation to myself and uh, to everyone who's interested in hearing uh, the story. My intent for changing the situation. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by offering my first idea that I had after I was sitting meditating on it for a couple hours. And I didn't plan for this to come up, but inevitably, when you meditate, uh, the things which have been uh, needing your attention and you've been neglecting come on up and they wave their hand and they say hey I need uh, you need to pay attention to me right so one of the things that I would like to offer is myself as a guide or myself as, um, call it whatever you want, essentially what I do on the channel um, as relates to you and your personal life and your personal struggles and uh, the whole shebang, <coughs> excuse me, that goes on with you. And um, it will take different forms and formats and as you know, I don't have any one particular way of doing things or the other particular way, um, but it will be uh, just one-on-one -on -one discussion, uh, 
anything, literally anything. I don't even want to narrow down to categories right now because it's never like that. But, um, yeah. So, you would have me as a spirit guide, as a, as a healer. That's, that's actually part of my role here on the planet as well, is healer. So in whatever form that may take. And uh, I've thought about this before, but um, I have had self-doubt and things like that in the past, as all people do. But I'm very uh, resolute in my um, avoidance of... I always follow Occam's Razor. I try not to put up resistance. So me doing this video is a very uh, clear example of putting up some resistance to the pattern that um, I have allowed to persist much longer than uh, it needs to. So right now it would simply be me offering my services as guide, as healer, um, meditation, help, spirituality, all of that stuff. And then in addition, um, just realm stuff. <laughs> we have questions about weird and wonky things that will of course be included in it. Um, And uh, Reiki, distance Reiki, can be included in it. I am also, uh, or I recently finished Reiki 1, so I'm uh, able to practice that. And I have to talk to Eden about the sort of specifics of doing distance Reiki, but um, she does it, and it works. And we are all connected through the ether, and when we send out intentions and we send out um, certain emotions towards another person, well, uh, they go on ahead and meander over and they bump into that person. And they have real effects. So, if you're interested in uh, retaining my services in, in uh, the format, and it's a loose format, um, which I have described, then uh, let me know what you think about it. This is this is kind of a first foray into me moving myself from this situation, which is incorrect for me and it's incorrect for everyone else. Really, it's correct. It's been correct up to this point, but uh, I can only what's the saying? Kick a dead dog for so long. I don't know if that's the saying or not, but, um, yeah, so as far as payments, I was thinking something, I would probably do it like how Eden does her Reiki practice, which is for uh, people that like um, structure, we would simply set up like a monthly thing. Off the top of my head, I came up with 25... 50, 75, or $100 a month, depending on um, what you were able to pay and how much uh, time you would want, because it would basically be buying time. Because at some point, as I move into doing what I'm supposed to be doing, then my uh, time will not... Um, it will be taken away like Uber is taking away my time, but it will be taking away in the correct fashion rather than this fashion, which is uh, wrong. So that's a basic template, um, and these are very initial ideas, and um, it will take its own life, and it will take its own shape and form as we move forward. But again,
this is something that I need to spend more time working through, working with, working through. Because if I don't, then um, with all of my self-discipline, I will continue doing this thing which isn't really serving me and that will just go on. So this is me changing that. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think and uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Take care of yourselves. Bye.